Welcome back. We are talking about apples, apples, apples. But before we get to the apple dessert that you have made for us, Joy, uh, we want to talk about a few really cool new things at Weight Watchers. Joy Ermy is my favorite Weight Watcher leader in the world, like the whole Aww. world, Joy. Uh, so, Joy, I, the first thing we want to talk about is Weight Watchers has a new way. We talk about how important it is to track your food when yes. you're trying to make a lifestyle change. And Weight Watchers has kind of a different concept or adds to the concept of tracking food with this new product. Tell us about it. Okay. Well, the name of the product, and I'm going to show it to you. <gasps> oh, Joey's showing us some I'm stuff. I'm wearing it upon my waist. <laughs> it is called the Active Link. Active Link. Active Link. And what it is is a three-way accelerometer. So we've heard of the pedometer, right? and so we wear that, and then as we're walking, uh -huh. it measures our steps. Well, that's great and fantastic, but not everybody walks. They swim, or they Zumba, or they mm -hmm. run. So what this is, is an accelerometer, three-way, forward and back, mm -hmm. every time we move side to side. Mm -hmm. Who am I looking at? Let's see. Oh, there you go. Every yeah. time I move this side to side, okay. or if, as I go up and down. So really, motion. 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 And how does it, what does it track then? Points? Will it tell you how yeah, many points this plus? This is the only gadget on the market that actually converts our activity to points plus values. Mm -hmm. So it plugs right into your USB port in mm -hmm. your computer. And if you are a Weight Watcher member, an eTool subscriber, or an online member, you know the value of eTools. And you know the value of knowing that tracking all of your food is so important because we tend to overestimate how much activity we did. Mm -hmm. We do, and we definitely grossly underestimate how much activity. I always say just because you're busy doesn't mean you're exercising. Do you know what I mean? Like you think I'm so busy, it's got to count for something. Well, you know what's you know? cool about this is you wear it for seven days. So it has this clip and you can wear it in a variety of places and then uh -huh. and we teach you where exactly to, to place it. So it can really tell um, how your body moves the most. You wouldn't want to wear it on your wrist per se uh -huh. because you're going to move your hand a lot more right. um, than you're going to move your body. So you wear it for seven days and we go through an assessment period uh -huh. and it says, okay, Joy, this is how much you normally move in a seven day period. And then they give me a 12 week challenge. Whoa. And it's the software that does that. It says, okay, so I'm converting my activity to points plus values in the Weight Watcher world. Uh -huh. And it says that just by me moving, just by me walking. So it'll say, Next week, we need to this percentage a, a little bit more. Yep. That's great. And it's a 12-week challenge. And it's awesome. And this is brand new at Weight Watchers. This is brand so new. It's going to be in all of our locations nationwide this fall. Okay. It's hit some locations already, but not all of them. So everyone's going to have the opportunity to get a peek at this. And I'm telling you, it's a great way. We know how to track our food. Now let's really get the most out of our right. activity. Right. The more we move, the more we can eat. That's the only reason I exercise. <laughs> more food. Okay. So um, active Link. link. Active link. Okay, coming soon to a Weight Watcher location near you. <laughs> awesome. You got okay, it. Okay, so now, Joy, while you're here, you're one of my cohorts for many of these shows, and so we started a new segment, and I want to show you. It's called the Pin Test. First, we've got a picture. I'm a big Pinterest. Are you on Pinterest? Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm a big fan of Pinterest, and a lot of the things on there are great suggestions, but do they really work? So we started testing them. I, I have a picture. This is a Pinterest picture of a curling iron cleaner, okay? It's supposed to be the easiest way to take your flat iron and make it look less grungy, okay? So the question is, does it work? So this is my flat iron. I don't know if you can see that, but this is one of the many flat irons I have, actually. And the idea is just using rubbing alcohol, we should be able to turn this grungy looking thing into one that looks brand new. So I'm gonna pin test this right, right. here. Do you use a flat iron? I don't, but if you knew me in the 90s. Yeah, what did you do then? Crimping? Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I grew up on the East Coast, so we knew nothing but bangs. Nothing but bangs? And I wish I knew this trick because I had a crimper, I had a curling iron, uh -huh. I had multiple curling irons. It's coming off, the gunk <gasps> is coming off. Oh my gosh, are you guys seeing above, above the above camera? Oh my gosh, it is coming off. See, the idea with a flat iron is it's supposed to move smoothly through your hair. And when you've got all this buildup of hairspray and gel and the things that I use to make my glorious head of hair look the way it looks. <laughs> now you know why I have short hair. <laughs> okay, so at any rate, you, 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 you totally lose the whole flat iron thing if it's full of gunk. So I saw this pin on Pinterest and the original pinner, her website is one good thing. So I will link you to those if you want to go to fullplate.tv or to Pinterest. My Pinterest page is Rebecca Rainier and we have a pin test board. Oh my gosh. 
This is the first pin that I've tested on this show that works super fast yeah, and the way it's supposed to. Look at that in there. Okay, can you see that? That's incredible. Okay, so basically we call it at the pin fail, pin win, repin. I say this is pin a win. pin win. If you've got a flat iron full of gunk, because you know I'm not the only one with a gunky flat iron, right? This is the way to clean it. Okay, so now I'm going to get this uh, alcohol smell out of here while you tell us what you're making, Joy. Okay. Well, you know, we're Weight Watchers and we're moving more and we're eating better, but that doesn't mean we're eating necessarily less. We're just eating better. Okay. So I, I, you know, you told me about this apple episode right. and we got to do apple crisp. Okay. We have apple to do crisp. apple crisp. So it's apple cider crisp. So what we're doing is I have Granny Smith apples and I've already cut a bunch of those up. Okay. Do you want to put them here more in the center oh, sure. so I can get my above camera? Okay. All right, so and you've got that. We've got those. And it's how just many apples did you do? Seven. That's seven apples? Look seven. how much that is. And it's, and I didn't go really crazy. We we're just chopping them up into little bits, like okay. nothing really fancy. And you use the tool that I, this is one of my favorite kitchen tools too, is these are the greatest way to get your apple cut fast. And peel it first if you have to peel it uh -huh. because it goes in a little bit easier. Well, that's a good idea. But And it went real nice. I didn't cut my finger off today, which is always a bonus. <sighs> you know, when you get out of the kitchen with all limbs intact, it's yeah, a win. Especially when your name is Joy. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I put a third of a cup of um, apple cider mm -hmm. in there, and you get that when you're at your when you're at your orchard. We did get cider, it was really good. And I do recommend if you have an orchard, go take a visit right now. And you get your walking exercise in too. Yeah, and don't forget your um, active link. Okay, so you've got your sugar, a, a two, tablespoon? Two tablespoons. Okay. We're still living here. Uh, we see, still the sugar. directions that we're giving you right on the screen too. So you've got some flour, sugar, what okay. else you got? Well, in here, we're just putting a little bit of flour to thicken it up. But I think what you're looking at at the beginning is the flour, sugar, light brown sugar, and salted butter is actually what we used. That's going to be our crumble on the top. Well, so that's what I wanted to know is your crumble. Okay, so you are soaking these apples in a few I'm doing it just in a few ingredients, just like you would the center of an apple pie. Mm -hmm. And so we're just going to mix this around. But so I've already did my crumble. If you don't have a food processor that I did it in, just do it in a blender. Yeah, that just works. To, or, um, I'm sure that the chefs watching probably have better ideas, pastry blender and things but like that. But we want to do things that are real. We don't all have pastry blenders. No. And I want to be quick about this. Yeah. You know, so we're just going to mix this up. And I do have a little bit of fresh lemon juice in here too, because we want to make sure that we're not. Right. It would keep some nice, the nice color. The nice color. I mean, we want our, our food to look really good. We're, we want to eat healthy, but we want to be happy. And right, because that one time I was giving you trouble because I didn't like um, the way something looked. I was like, yeah. Joy, I don't want this. I was, I know, I'm like one you know, of your kids. I, it was my the black bean dip. Yeah. And do you know I got a response that it was wonderful? See, I criticized Joy on the air, and her fan club and came my fan right club to her defense. came right to my defense. My <laughs> old roommate from college came right to my defense. Okay, so, so do you need a pan to out. create this in? Let me get you some. So you've got. Oh, I've got it. I've oh, okay. Got it. She's got it. Got okay, so it. you put in, a, and this is a cute pan too. Thanks. So you use cooking spray almost all the time. I do. It I does really the do. trick. It does. Now, when I'm cooking my food, a lot of times I'll use um, an olive oil spray. Right. Do you have those misters too? I have those the misters, really nice. and um, I actually got mine from Weight Watchers. They sell them at the center stores. Um, and what I like about that is I get my healthy oil in because it's real important to get your oils into your diet. It helps to get all the good vitamins and minerals and the antioxidants out of our green leafy vegetables. Fat isn't bad, just some kinds of fat. Yeah, we want good fat. Good fat. Good healthy fat. I have evil fat. <laughs> good healthy fat makes our skin beautiful and our mm -hmm. um, hair And our food beautiful. tastes good and yes. Okay. Okay, so you've got... So look how easy that was. That was really easy. I literally like dumped it in there. And then I took my brown sugar, my flour, my regular sugar and a half a stick, a salted butter. I put it in that food processor and I'm just going to drape this over the top and it smells like an apple pie already i mean it smells like well we didn't and really if you think about it the only um part that adds a lot of calories to an apple crisp or an apple pie is the fat or the shortening of the crust mm -hmm. is really adding a lot of calories so if you can mimic a crust without an actual crust okay so you put it in the oven and 375 for 40 minutes 375 for 40 minutes now this one that one okay okay 
Now this one, almost done, but we're gonna take it out anyway. It looks great. It looks like such a good dessert. It smells so good. And it's easy. So it's talk about the nutritionals then. What are we what are we dealing with here in terms of, let me get a fork. Mama needs a fork. Well, like we talked about, well, you, you brought it up when you were at the apple orchard. You have a lot of fiber in your apples. Mm -hmm. And it keeps you fuller longer. The more fiber, the more that you're putting into your, the more fiber, the more protein you're putting in your system, uh -huh. the longer you're gonna feel full. So that's, that's good. The, that is the key. And if you see these apples, the Granny Smith apples, they're, they really keep their um, shape. So it's nice. It's not mushy. You're and not also, a bunch of mush. Um, you know what would be really good is a little bit of fat-free whipped cream. Yes, and you can use fat-free whipped cream. Um, why not vanilla? Why not? Uh, ice fat cream. Fat-free ice cream okay. or low-fat ice cream. Or you know what? Careful, it's hot. Is you know what? Have regular ice cream. If you want regular ice cream, just have a scoop. Just have just okay. have a little bit. Portions, have portions, portions. Portions, portions, portions. We have a link, fullplate.tv, uh, to this recipe. And we will have all the instructions because I know we put them on the screen there, but you probably weren't writing them down. I highly recommend Joy's Weight Watchers dessert. Apple cider crisp. All right, stay with us. We're going to be uh, cooking up a kind of a main course that's right here. Gorgeous. Back in a moment.